Hello and welcome back to another episode of Physics Partner. In this lab activity, we will calculate the speed of an object and sketch a graph. We extend our sincere gratitude to Cambridge International Assessment Education for their invaluable contribution to the creation of this compelling video content, which promises to enlighten and inspire curious minds around the world. Speed time graphs illustrate the motion of an object and how this changes over time. This experiment will show how a speed time graph can be constructed. The track is set up with four main sections. Clamps and stands are used to secure the first slope. A flat section is followed by another steeper slope. The end of the track rest on the stool to check that there is nothing to impede the path of the car it is run along the track an app can be used to time the path of the car there are also programs available to use with a laptop and camera setup to provide a scale for the video analysis, a meter rule is clamped vertically next to the track. A piece of white card with a large spot on it is stuck to the roof of the toy car. It should be clearly visible to the camera. When the car is released, its speed down the track is recorded. The independent variable, which is time, is plotted along the horizontal axis. A speed is plotted on the vertical axis. This is the dependent variable. Now the data points from the experiment can be plotted. The data points should be joined with a smooth line of best fit which passes through the origin. The final thing to do is to add a title to the graph. Now the graph is complete. It is possible to see the sections where the car has changed speeds. The steep gradient of the graph shows that the speed of the car is increasing rapidly. Here the gradient is shallower. This shows that the speed of the car is increasing less quickly. So, what would the speed time graph look like if the car slowed down or come to a stop? So, I think it's enough for today. So, thank you very much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this video is useful for you. So, take care of yourself and don't hesitate to write an email if you have any question, query, suggestion and even classes are required. Take care of yourself. Meanwhile, see you in the next video. Goodbye.